Hello Rebel and welcome back to my life. I did get a haircut, thanks for noticing. No, but clearly something is different on my face. That's right, I'm growing my beard back. Turns out I thought my wife really liked the goatee, but we had a conversation a couple of weeks back and I was like, I'm glad you like the goatee better because I find it very fetching. And she kind of went silent for a really long time. Like so long, I wondered if there was a short circuit between my brain and my mouth and I had accidentally complimented the good looks of another woman instead of like my own facial hair. But yeah, she said she likes the full beard better and I like it too, so it's coming back. Also, I got glasses. Yeah. Yeah, this is still a little weird. I'm not entirely used to it. Like I keep reaching up to adjust my glasses when they slide down my nose and every time I'm like, oh my God, I'm adjusting my glasses. So when we moved up here in August, I was driving a truck for three days straight and I noticed that when I was driving at night, the headlights and taillights of the other cars were getting a little bit blurry. It wasn't anything crazy, but it was definitely a higher level of blur than I had previously experienced in my life, which was like none. So the day after my birthday, I finally went to the optometrist and found out that I have a mild astigmatism, which makes long distance vision a little bit blurry, especially at night. The optometrist said I only really have to wear them when I'm driving at night, but when I put them on, everything became so much clearer that I just wear them all the time now. The first day I got my glasses, I was a little bit down. I've always had perfect vision, and so it felt, in a sense, like I was losing that. But both of my parents had glasses since before I was born, so this is not some, like, huge surprise out of nowhere. It was pretty much inevitable. And after that first day, once I'd gotten used to wearing them, I found out that I actually really like how they look. I mean, for one thing, if you tell people you're a writer, I feel I feel like they're a lot more likely to take you seriously if you do have glasses than if you don't. But I also feel, and I know this sounds kind of stupid, but I feel like the glasses complete my face in this weird way. Like, I've never really hated the way that I've looked, but I've never thought I was super good looking either, and the glasses have definitely caused an improvement in my concept of my own self-image, whatever that's worth. I don't know that I chose the best possible frames, I might upgrade those at some point, and I definitely need to get non-glare lenses since, as you can see, they have a tendency to reflect the lights I use to make my videos. But overall, yeah, I like myself better with glasses than without them. There is one other aspect of this whole thing, though, which is less than completely ideal, and that's that it does make me feel a little old. No, glasses are not exclusive to old people. A lot of kids wear glasses from a very young age. My son Luke is getting his eyes checked in April because we've known for a long time that he will almost definitely need glasses growing up and he's finally of the age where he will probably not break them. Probably. But I wasn't born with eyes that needed glasses. I, it happened because I got old. Which is, which is weird. Also gonna be real weird every time I go back and watch one of my old YouTube videos, which I do every once in a while, and see myself without the glasses. Not probably ever gonna get over that system shock. The way I feel isn't exactly a midlife crisis, but it's kind of akin to one. But it's also made me realize that I'm pretty okay with where I am at this point in my life. I'm 31, I make a living as an author, I've got an incredible wife and three wonderful children, we got a real nice house in a real nice town in Oregon, we're probably gonna be getting our own house in the not too distant future. If that's the situation I'm in as I move into my new bespectacled life as a middle-aged man, I'm sort of okay with it. And that is all I've got for you today, Rebel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I wanted to remind you that we got these sweet new Mystic t-shirts. You can get one by clicking on the little picture of them right down there. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on Friday. Bye!